Today we're going to be making a gate for our new driveway. Um, we've decided to get a bunch of these 4x4 treated posts and we're actually going to be using something that we've never used before. Uh, this is Ground Master, uh, the brand. They make a bunch of posts and uh, things like that. Uh, just, you know, metal and plastic. These ones are a metal uh, 30 inches, which is below the frost line, so that's good. And you don't have to do any digging, which Eileen said that she didn't want to do any more digging because, you know, she, if anything, her back is getting too muscular and textured, so she kind of wants to go for a little bit more of a, uh, like a flabby uh, <laughs> uh, love handle look. So, I mean, whatever, I, I don't mind. So, I just want, uh, you know, the path of least resistance, and that looks like this thing. So, see how it goes. You gotta bash it in with a rubber mallet. I've got a couple of little old leftover bits of post I can use to get it down to the size. Um, and then, so after that, um, yeah, we're gonna put all of this together here. We've got a bunch of cedar uh, fence uh, railings, um, or fence. Railings, palings, <laughs> nailings, stalings, whatever. Those things. Uh, they were actually less than like $3 each from Home Depot, which is pretty good considering they're cedar. So you can do a fair bit with them. And we've got a bunch of uh, prime white wood studs here for uh, the outside um, of the gate. And we've got a bunch of black um, fancy finishes over there and stuff like that. Uh, because this is going to be a driveway gate and not a person, you know, foot traffic gate, uh, it's going to be something that we want to open, drive the car through and then be able to close. We were originally thinking about getting spring loaded or something like that, but as Eileen said, it's just not worth doing it because we want to keep it open. And we've got some, um, some paint made up as well, some bare... It, uh, we've got a gallon here that we're going to paint the whole thing up so it'll look nice and fancy. Uh, it is natural sequoia. That was Eileen's choice. So if it looks bad, it's my fault. That's right. <laughs> okay. so, Alright, let's get to it, eh? Whew, it's getting in there. <laughs> Going in? Yeah. I almost got myself that time. Yeah, every hit's putting it down. She further. said that she'd rather these because she doesn't want to dig anymore because this will be way easier. Oh, ho, 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 ho. little did she know. I have to do this for hours. <laughs> well, maybe she did. Almost came off. So hot that the glue that holds this thing on is melting. Just got it today. <laughs> the old trusty rubber mallet. Gotta say, from <laughs> rubber mallet to come off. And then to be able to put back on there and just smash it again, it's pretty good. I think it wasn't for this 90 something degree heat we got here, it'd be sticking on just fine. It's pretty tough. It's already paid for itself putting the heat in. <laughs> and there you go. This is our dinky gate. We're yet to put the panels on the front. We're still wondering which way we'll go. There was talk yesterday of us putting it horizontally. Horizontally? No. 
what's that thing? Horizontally, diagonally. and now we'll do yeah, it diagonally. Originally horizontally, but now we're thinking maybe diagonally because, uh, yeah, with these posts, it's so hard to get them in perfect. So there is a little bit of a hill, and also the driveway comes up, so in the middle, so it's kind of they're kind of sagging down a little. Um, I put this wheel on here, I'll try to cut that down, but. To be honest, we had to. We're building these in like two days, so we had to just. We wanted to put a gate before we went back to LA for a while, so we just decided to put it here. So mm -hmm. originally they were going to open in, but um, the posts were a little close together, so we've had to mount them on the front more, and they're up a little bit higher. So, and either way, um, it'll look good when it's done. Uh, it might be saggy a little bit. Everything's a little saggy around here. <laughs> Speaking for myself, of course. That's right. Speak for yourself. Okay. <laughs> Let's get stuck into it, eh? All right. It's a little bit redder, orangey than I would have preferred, but we had to pick something that would cover the posts well. Yes. And bring the two to some kind of medium. Also, this is very white wood. Yeah, I know, but that's just, I mean, it is a very orangey color. This is called natural sequoia. I guess that's kind of a red wood. Color. There you go. Trying to go as thin as possible here. Wow, the color difference looks crazy when you see them. Does it looks super orange. It looks good. I like it. It's not orange, it's like, it's, it's, it's timbery. It looks like something like barley. Does it like, look like sequoia? Yes, it looks like sequoia actually. Because but yeah. that's the name of the color. Yeah, it's nice. Natural sequoia. There you go, this is our big, our big entry, our big grand entrance. Ooh. Here it is, ladies and gents. The final board of the gate going in. Never mind that the gate is attached to nothing else. <laughs> it's symbolic, okay? <laughs> and ever since Glenn repositioned the wheels at the bottom, it sags a lot less, I'm very happy to say. You don't have to be the saggy ranch anymore. It's just a little off now. We're gonna be the oddball, oddball, odd bunch resort. <laughs> All right. You're gonna have to get. <laughs> you look up on the characters Welcome from to Fat the Albert. <laughs> you look about the character from Fat Albert. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's going down, Rudy? Yeah, so here are the gates. It's all right. You don't try to walk around them, okay? You have to go through the gate. That's right. Oh, this one's locked. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Both wheels sit on little bumps of dirt now, so. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. Time for a shower? Bonito. Time for a shower and the rest of that Mississippi mud? That's it. Let's do it. Choose your own adventure, time to hit the road.